guys there. It's me. If we can't keep us greater, we can't run natural. We can't talk to Draco. We can't give a girl. We can't tell a jungle. We can't have a camper. We can't run natural. Okay, gamer girl. Okay, look on. Guy already said that. Come out, Koopa. Amazing, Bada, Pada. Your Chris Ritter games. So there's a few achievements that um I'm gonna discuss uh, with ya. For starters, there is, uh, I think we can go back to Fracture Hills now. So that's what I'm going to do. Is go back to Fracture Hills. We're not really fully uh, done with the game. I mean, done with the... Spiral 2. Thank you for releasing me. There is. Well, hello there. So you can have the original music.
It's great to be free. <laughs> oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. Do you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night? You have rest. I've been experimenting. Do my feet feel... As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn Earth Shapers? All right! When I shoot an Earth Shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then pressing the action button. Great team. Here, I was gonna give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment.
get it flat and rut row. <laughs> okay, that was a bad joke, and I, I'm sorry.
dragon. Perhaps you can... Can you please help? Maybe if you hit that door really hard.
Since you broke that door down for me, I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please, take it.
recharge challenge. Go restart. Take your partner's 
out to put it back in. And you notice your Spyro, your um, the original Spyro got replaced with the evil Spyro. Why is that 
insane whatever it is, it's not Spyro. And you know, I don't, don't understand if this was a fake or anything. You thought it was. I mean, you picked it up at your friend's house and you started to play it. You thought it was the original Spyro. You even played at your friend's house and you know it's your friend is a little bit strange. to do it? Am I not supposed to play this game? You look honestly at the screen and you see you're missing a few gems. You, you say, but we're sparks. Is he he's supposed to be helping this, um, this creature that I am? You're like, think to yourself, I use cheats. Oh, that was. 
was very wrong. What happens? Well, let's just say you should have done that. to a game over screen. And, and um, it looks almost like 
the screen pictured here except it had a depressed so uh, I depressed It had a depressed, um, looking nasty nork. But you notice something different about that scream. Something was odd in the background. You saw two similarly large eyes behind nasty nork. And you thought it was weird. And then another screen pops up. It says, Do you want to continue? You, you hit the button. And you say, Yes, I want to continue.
He keeps selecting. He it keeps going, and it's like here. If you do this, then I'll let you destroy the game, or at least you can try. you control the game again. You can almost make out that evil spiral. You beat the game? You beat it. And you must destroy the game. That's what your friend would have wanted. It was a final battle with this entity. You thought to yourself, it wasn't the spiral you grew up with. Instead, it looked like an evil, evil burden with, with sharp veins. Bright red eyes. And its horns looked a little different. You finally beat it. It screams in agony. You're like, okay, so I, so I saved everybody. I saved my, my family. I saved my friends. I did it. You watched another cutscene. A cutscene where that evil spiral just fades out of existence. Where that that entity, whatever it was, just completely fades out of existence and goes completely gone. You smile. And then you decide you want to you do destroy it. You find a flamethrower. After after you finish watching the cutscene, the cutscene had the real Sparrow shaking Nasty Nork's hand, saying, "Thank you for rescuing me." And then it panned on, panned a camera on Spyro, and he said, thank you. Thank you for playing this, this game. Thank you for saving me. And then you, you cry a little. Then you like look carefully. You take the disc out. First you shut the the um system that you had the disc in off. You feel so relieved you finished that that monstrosity of a game. You congratulate yourself. You take the game out of the console. Get the little this tank cover that it came with. Grab it. You take it outside. What you do next, it's up to you. Well, I would personally flamethrow it. So that's exactly what you did.
you flamethrowered it so no one will ever have to play the game again. So Spyro and his friends will rest in peace. So they will never have to get tortured by this evil entity ever again. So no one, not even your other friends, will get hurt. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little, um, creepypasta, whatever it was. <laughs> it wasn't about me, or not necessarily pointed at you. But, if, it, if ever a game existed like that, I would be scared. Anyways... There's a storm overhead, and, well, I gotta call it a recording, because I don't want, want uh, to damage my PC, and that would be really bad, so, I think I'll end it off here. Thank you guys for watching. And listening to my uh, creepy story. I hope I didn't really give you nightmares. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. That, that was a happy ending. But what happened to the friend? Well... Let's just say that friend of that person didn't make it. It was forever a ghost. Controlled by that entity. Scary, right? Or maybe he went to heaven. Who knew? Nope. Word of advice, watch what you buy. You just might get something really bad. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I'm going to end off here. Be sure to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.